my name is Jerry Croth. I'm a professor in California, a psychologist, I've written a few books on uh, psychology, on UFOs, on the Kennedy assassination, and a number on uh, crop circles. And this is an episode of my crop circle series. Uh, I read this article very recently, uh, a few months ago, and it was about a, uh, it was a scientific article about uh, the biggest black hole merger ever seen. It happened in May 21st, 2019. That's an artist's rendering of that merger of two black holes. And I thought, interesting. I wonder if there was a crop circle made around that time, since this is a colossal celestial event. Ha! Huh? So I went looking, and there I found on May 22nd this crop circle. And it had these very delicate perforated edges as if two circles were coming to form a bigger circle. So that was my first initial impression. I said, you know, I think I'm going to take a look at this more seriously. So let me introduce you to the crop circle first. All right, so um, let's start with the black hole merger and learn something about that. Now, I'm a psychologist. I'm not an astronomer, so I have to vet what I talk about. I, I consult with uh, professors of astrophysics. Uh, I don't tell them about crop circles. I do ask them questions about astronomy, and that's how I kind of vet this information for you. So, humanity has... a uh, encountered 44 mergers where two black holes collided with each other 44 times okay the black hole merger we are talking about is called gw190521 and it happened seven billion years ago i mean if the universe is 13 and a half billion years old it was like halfway through a long time ago it was called a black hole that shouldn't exist that's from the literature. Okay, so if you're thinking, ah, some team of people heard about this merger on May 21st and went out and made a crop circle May 22nd, forget about that. Didn't happen. First of all, science, some scientists thought it was a false alarm. They weren't sure they had what they had the next day. Uh, about September, what, five months later? They, 50 scientists authored a single peer-reviewed article saying they, do not, they did not think it was a false alarm, that it really was a black hole merger. Now, that took five months for them to make that decision. Okay. So it took a long time to figure out. So a team of crop circle makers the next day, uh, I'm not sure they knew that it was a black hole merger. So this is... Uh, the first black hole, which was 85 solar masses. I think that means the size of the sun. 66 solar masses. They combined and made a big, gigantic uh, black hole. It was 142 solar masses. Okay, it was the biggest black hole merger ever seen. Now, here's a short video. I want to thank uh, astronomer Chris Reddy for giving me permission to use this. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, two massive black holes collided and merged. But this collision produced no flare, no flash, no form of energy we could detect with any kind of telescope. Instead, all of the energy of this titanic collision sent ripples through the fabric of space-time and literally shook the universe. Seven billion years later, the gravitational waves released in the merger were detected by the LIGO and Virgo gravitational wave observatories. 
Astrophysicists quickly realized that these waves were the result of the most massive black hole collision ever detected. For the first time, they had directly detected the missing link between stellar mass black holes and the supermassive black holes that dominate the centers of galaxies. Such a detection is remarkable in and of itself, but it's not even half the story because at least one of the two black holes involved in the collision is so massive, it shouldn't exist in the first place. Welcome back to Launchpad. I'm Christian Reddy, your friendly neighborhood astronomer. Black holes are among the most massive objects in the universe, and Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that a pair of them spiraling inwards toward each other will produce ripples in space-time called gravitational waves. During the in-spiral, the black holes radiate away gravitational energy, which cause them to lose angular momentum, which cause them to spiral in closer and accelerate faster. This runaway in-spiral continues until the black holes are orbiting each other hundreds of times a second. The black holes merge into a larger black hole that initially vibrates, like a bell that's been rung. After this ring-down period, the merged black hole stops vibrating and the gravitational waves dissipate. <laughs> So that's our homework for the day. Um, so we're learning a little bit about black hole mergers, right? Now let's go back to the crop circle. This happens in England in that location. Uh, I am noticing something. My first impression is look at how delicate that edge is. Those circles are just a few inches away. To me, that suggests movement. The one circle moving towards the center, okay? Like this, like a, you see what I'm doing? You see those arrows? It's like the, these two things are merging into this bigger thing. All right, so take a look at the borders, okay? These little borders are like just a few inches in thickness. So now, if human beings did that in the middle of the night, good for you, because if you are off by a few inches, you're going to spoil the effect. So here it is more carefully, okay? That's the edge that I'm talking about. Well done, whoever made it, well done. Now, I have a couple other measurements I wanna to suggest to you. Look at this line. That line is the diameter of the large circle, okay? It is 84% larger than the diameter of the outer circle. So you can do that with a, a ruler and a photograph, okay? So that's what I did. Now those are the diameters of the smaller circles. You see that? One and two. This one is 84% bigger. Now, what's interesting about that is that it, that is very close to what happened in the real world. Okay? Here's why that's important. In this crop circle, we have a large circle that is 84% larger. But in the reality, we have two black holes that merged to a larger black hole, which is 88% larger. So I thought, you know, well, considering it's 7 billion years away, uh, that's kind of close. I did a little math, and it's pretty close. Now, I don't know if you'll join me in that thought, but I thought that was a very interesting estimate. Uh, but there's still one other issue that we have not figured out, and that is, what the heck is that? Um, that central circle, what is that? Usually, a black hole has a stream of plasma shooting out from it, but this one didn't. There was no streaming plume in this case. So I wrote to three astrophysicists, and I said, was there a jet stream? Was there a plume? Because I'm looking to find out what's the meaning of this central circle. And maybe I'm completely wrong about this uh, crop circle interpretation. So one of the astrophysicists wrote back and said, yes, indeed, there was an electromagnetic event afterwards. Another said, Jerry, no jet, but a potential optical counterpart was observed, and he sent me a link. Okay, here's the kicker. All right. To flare up. In June 2020, an independent team announced a quasar flare in the same part of the sky as GW 2019-521. The flash was spotted about 34 days after the gravitational waves were detected. According to their model, the black hole shot out of the disk, heated it up, and caused the flare. So that happened 34 days after the black hole merger 
33 days after the crop circle. Now you got to think about what that means, okay? That means something. That means we have explained, first of all, the final central circle of this crop circle because it's a flare, and a stream that shoots out 34 days after the merger. So let's summarize what we have discovered so far. We have two black holes that are moving inward towards each other. We have two black holes penetrating, penetrating these barriers, these very thin, delicate barriers, as if they're moving towards something. We have a final circle that is larger, 84% larger than the prior two black holes. And then we have this electromagnetic flare that occurs 34 days later. That's what we have decoded from this crop circle, okay? So, let's take a look at reality versus the crop circle. In reality, in the real world, two black holes merge on May 21st, 2019. In the crop circle, the next day, May 22nd, two black holes are penetrating a barrier and merging. That's reality, that's the crop circle, and the two black holes moving towards each other. I hope you're staying with me. Reality versus the crop circle. In reality, the new black hole is 142 solar masses, which is 88% larger than the median width of the two prior black holes. In the crop circle, the new central circle is 84% larger than the two little circles on the outskirts of the crop circle. Close indeed. Following? Okay. Third one, reality versus the crop circle. In reality, with GW and blah, 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 there was an electromagnetic flare or flash 34 days after the merger. And in the crop circle, we see an electromagnetic flare actually 33 days later because the crop circle was made the next day. Okay, so there's reality, there's the crop circle. So why is this important? You say, well, humanity has seen 44 black hole mergers What's so important about 45, okay? What's the big deal? Why does this event warrant a crop circle? I don't know what the big deal is. Well, there are three reasons why this is a big deal. And it took me a while to figure out the, uh, how I could communicate this stuff, which is pretty much over my head. Here's why it is so weird, so eccentric, so different. First, Einstein's theory of relativity says that energy converts to mass and mass to energy. Nine solar masses are missing. We had a black hole of 86 solar mass, 85 solar masses combining with another one of 66. That should be 151, but it was only 142. Nine solar masses were missing. Nine suns were missing. What happened? Well, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, they were converted to energy. All right? There's more energy released in one-tenth of a second than the most luminous quasar in the universe gives off in 72 days. It was a big deal. All right. The second reason why this is so weird is that it was the most massive intermediate black hole merger ever seen. Okay, it was much bigger than anything that came before it, any of the 44 that came before it. It was, to Chris Reedy, the most massive black hole collision ever detected. So that's the second reason why this is so important. And the third, I'm not sure I understand all this, but there are the scientific articles that have been written about this merger talk about gravitational wave harmonics, uh, antimatter and matter and antimatter collisions, quantum pair instability, and it's something about dark matter. Quote, this is right on the frontiers of science, say the astrophysicist about this event. Okay, so when I tried to get into it, I had to admit, you know, uh, this is over my head. All I can do is be a journalist and tell you what they're saying, but I can't really explain what they're saying other than to mention that these are the issues that come from this event. All right, so yes, it is weird, anomalous, atypical, and different from the 44 
mergers that preceded it. And yes, it is very important that we study it. Okay? Now, let's ask a question. Who made this crop circle? This is really, really important. This is why I, I made, I'm making this video. The first thought is that human beings made the crop circle. Let's look at that hypothesis. Human beings did it, okay? There's no logic to it. They just went out into a field in the, U the UK and made circles. It's just a design that they made in barley. It has, it's just a prank. It's what they do, okay? There's nothing to see here. It's just artistic vandalism. They caused a couple thousand dollars worth of damage to the farmer. It has nothing to do with this black hole merger. That's all stuff that we're making up, okay? It's pure coincidence that it happened uh, the day after a huge celestial event. That's one way. I have a friend who says that's the way to look at crop circles, okay? There's only one thing there, and that is if they made this crop circle in the middle of the night, under cover of darkness, that is really, really well done. That is really, really well done. I mean, if you're off by four inches, you've wrecked the effect. So they're doing that in the middle of the night, under cover of darkness, no footprints, uh, no barking dogs, no broken fences, no witnesses. Man, that was good. All right, so that's actually, in my view, a plausible hypothesis that it was made by humans, has nothing to do with black holes. It's just a bunch of circles in a barley field, period. Now, I'm saying that because if you don't accept that, you're in trouble because the other hypothesis is outrageous and it is also inescapable. Follow this now, please. The outrageous conclusion is this. If this crop circle interpretation is correct, then no human beings knew for sure in 24 hours that that was a black hole merger. It took scientists four months to figure that out. Nobody on this earth knew that was a black hole merger 24 hours later, for sure. And guess what? No human beings on this planet knew there would be a flare out of this in 34 days or 33 days after the crop circle. Not a single human being knew that. So there's no way, Jose, that human beings would have known that. No human beings could have known that or done that. All right, so the out I'm gonna do this a couple times just to make sure it sinks in because it took me a while to get it to sink in. The outrageous conclusion is this. If this crop circle interpretation is right, then let's review what that is. Two black holes merging towards the center, penetrating this very thin barrier, forming a larger black hole that's 84% larger than the previous two black holes. And then an electromagnetic flare 34 days later. If that is correct, no human beings could have known all that on May 22nd, 2019. Sorry. Let's do that one more time because of these, this is how outrageous this conclusion is. If this crop circle interpretation is correct, meaning two black holes are moving towards each other, they are penetrating a very thin barrier they are forming a larger circle that is 84% larger than the prior two. And there's a flare that comes 34 days later. If that interpretation is correct, then the, the beings who made it are not from this planet. No way human beings could have known in 24 hours that flare was coming in 34 days. No way. So... In my book, Messages from the Gods, on the extraterrestrial origin of crop circles, I have about 43 crop circles, which I believe are extraterrestrial messages. Most of them are benevolent or warnings about global warming and other things. Um, I try to translate the message of the crop circle into English. Are you ready for this crop circle 
This is a message from an extraterrestrial intelligence to us. Here it is in English. Get ready. 24 hours ago on your clocks, an important cosmic event occurred with the merger of two black holes. This is the largest such event your species has witnessed. By studying it, you will learn more about quantum pair instability, gravitational waves, and what you currently refer to as dark matter. Thank you, E.T. I wonder if you went all this way with me. <laughs> okay, so uh, there is the book, and you can get it on Amazon. And if you uh, look in the, web, in the description, the YouTube description, you can get a link to all of the footnotes for this talk. Okay? You want to write to me, uh, that's my website. Good luck. And many thanks for uh, sticking this out with me. And uh, have a nice day.